in the presence of angels with God's glory on the wings like the voice of many waters I can hear the angels sing. awesome so um, approaching 2017 the Lord began to speak to me about uh, it being a year of seeing the unseen realm um, just more than before it's a year of increase and so what I hear the Lord saying tonight is that he's going to be activating senses, okay? So spiritually, you have five senses. I've been releasing this word uh, a number of places. Uh, but you know, what I've learned is when God says to release a word, there's increase. There's a reason why he wants to do it. So if you've heard this about your senses, just act like it's fresh and there's a new level for you, okay? Because God's just going to be activating spiritual senses, and so um, in Hebrews chapter 5, it says that we exercise our senses to discern between good and evil, okay? So spiritual senses, you have five of them, okay? Everybody say taste, taste. see, see. Hear. hear, feel, feel. Smell. smell, okay? So Spiritually, you have these five senses. Hey! Do you ever smell in the spirit? Man, demons like stink. Like seriously, they smell like sulfur. Honestly, they really do. So if you smell sulfur, you know you could be smelling spiritually. With some demon, 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 you gotta cast out or something. All right, now um, God's presence is really sweet. Who, how many of you have smelled God's presence? Smelled His presence. <laughs> Whoa, isn't that awesome? <laughs> what is that? That's, you. That's awesome. <laughs> Whoa. And so, um, man, his presence is sweet. Okay, how many have ever tasted in the spirit? Okay, one taste. One time, for two months straight, I tasted wine in my mouth. Wow. And it was, God was speaking to me about um, the new covenant and the, his blood. If you know in communion, you drink wine. And it's a picture of his blood and all that his blood does on our behalf and stuff. And so and then tasting in the spirit, it's cool. And so, uh, but what God was speaking to me is in 2017, he's going to be increasing our ability to discern spirits. Everybody say discern spirits. Discern spirits. Okay, so there's a discerning of spirits. Now, what spirits are there to discern? Everybody say, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Angelic, Spirit. Angelic, Spirit. Angelic Spirit, Demonic Spirit. Demonic Spirit. Okay, so discerning of spirits. Now this is one of the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. Okay, and the Bible, Paul actually says to desire spiritual gifts. So listen, it's biblical. The Holy Spirit spoke through Paul and he wants you to, to desire to discern spirits, okay? It says, uh, biblically, it says in 1 Corinthians um, chapter 12, verses 4 through 11, it talks about the different gifts of the Spirit. And uh, in verse 10, it says, discerning of spirits is a gift of the Holy Spirit, okay? So you can only discern spirits by the gift of the Holy Spirit, okay? And, whoa, and, and I tell you, it's so helpful when we can discern what the Holy Spirit is doing in an atmosphere, what angelic spirits are doing in an atmosphere, and what demonic spirits are are doing in an atmosphere. Because when you can discern what's happening in an atmosphere and what the spirits are doing, then you can partner with heaven to see heaven invade that atmosphere. Does that make sense? Come on. Come on. I started to see angels back in 2013. The Lord spoke to me. He said, 2013, a year of seeing the unseen. Now we're at 2017 at Ryan. Isn't that cool? But man, I was active and I started to see angels. The first angel that I saw in my room, it freaked me out. 
It was actually at the end of 2012 in December. And I'm sitting in my room and I'm just practicing the seer realm. I'm practicing seeing in the spirit. And I see this being standing in my room, six feet tall, blue. And I hear the Lord tell me, this is a revelatory seer angel that I've assigned to your life to assist you in seeing in the spirit. You say, Kavika, what are you talking about? How is that biblical? So glad you asked. <laughs> in Psalms 91, 11, he says that he gives his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. Come on. It was an angel assist, assisting me. If you've ever watched William Branham back in the day, in the early days, an angel would show up in his meeting. And when the angel showed up, he would see such detailed revelation of people's lives. He'd know their address, know their birthday, know where they came from and where they're going. He'd see miracles and his body's healed supernaturally. I want one of those angels in my meetings. Come on. Amen. Come on. But God wants to activate your senses to discern spirits. Okay, so discerning the Holy Spirit. We're going to start with Holy Spirit. Everybody say Holy Spirit. Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. What are some manifestations of the Holy Spirit that are biblical? Peace. Peace. Joy. Very Joy. good. Peace. Joy. Wow. So if, if you discern that God wants to release joy in the atmosphere. How do you partner with that? Okay, often when, I, when, when, when God highlights that he wants to release joy, he'll show me and I'll discern a spirit, a demonic spirit of oppression that's hindering, okay? So I'm seeing, okay, Holy Spirit wants to release joy into lives. He wants to bubble up with joy. But there's a spirit of oppression and depression that's over people's shoulders. Kind of like what Maria saw, these backpacks. Did any of you feel a release after Maria prayed? Just that release of the backpacks. and It's like, oh yeah, come on. So if I'm going to release heaven into the atmosphere, I'm discerning that Holy Spirit wants to release joy, and a demonic spirit is hindering joy. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to take authority, because God's given me authority, to break off the demonic spirit. We're going to break off the demonic spirit, and it's going to uncork and release joy. I tell you, over and over, as I've discerned that in atmospheres, we, we go through that, we break off the spirit of oppression, depression. We release joy, man, I tell you, Joy breaks out. I mean, there's times when people are just on the floor laughing. Yeah. Just intoxicated in his presence. Because we discerned what the spirits are doing. Holy Spirit, demonic spirit, angelic spirit. Does that make sense? So... Manifestations of the Holy Spirit, operations of the Holy Spirit. You read in the Bible the fruit, love, joy, peace. Long, there's different fruits of the Holy Spirit. You see how the Holy Spirit leads and guides. There's also um, uh, characteristics like river of God. The river of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit's been talking about the river all night tonight. So wow, we discerned that God's going to move in this place like a river. And so I said, okay. And we just begin to echo that and partner with the river. We, we've been partnering with the river of the Holy Spirit all night. Okay, sometimes there's a fire of the Holy Spirit that God wants to release. Other times there's a wind of the Spirit. How many of you have been here when the wind of the Spirit breaks out? Oh, isn't that awesome? It's like refreshing and the wind just blows in this place. But it, it requires discerning what the Holy Spirit wants to do. Come on. I remember when I was in Kenya, Africa. And I'm getting ready to speak. I'm just going to share you some stories to build faith and, and stir you up. Because God's going to activate you. It's going to be a, a switch flipped on. 
tonight. That I was in Kenya and I was in my hotel room. And I was about to speak in Nakuru. And there were like 100 leaders at this hotel room getting ready to listen to yours truly, okay? Prophets, pastors, apostles. All these people that are just waiting there. And a month before that, I was in my room, and I was praying for Kenya, praying for Africa, and an angel came in my room and took me in the spirit to this building in Kenya. It was like, whoa, so I'm in this visionary realm. And I see all these Kenyan people, and I see that they, there was some shackles that God wanted to release. And the Lord began to speak to me about the word of the finished work of the cross that he's going to release in this building to these Kenyans. And so I recorded that. I'm like, wow, God, that's awesome. So fast forward a month, I'm in Kenya. And the day before speaking in Nakuru, this angel visits me in the hotel room. Very tall angel, like 12 feet tall. Now listen, when, when I see angels, I don't see them like I see Eva and Amber right in front of me. Okay? I see them, they're like in the spirit realm. I see them in my mind's eye. I can see where they are in the room, but it's like I can see through them. But I can see like their, their definition Sometimes they're different colors. They're, you know, they're, 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 they're tall. They're, so the thighs are big. You know, we had this angel come with our Vegas team, you remember? Yeah. His name was Sven. Huge angel. He was like, he was big. He looked almost like the Incredible Hulk. He was big. And he talked. His accent sounded like Arnold Schwarzenegger. He was like, you know, okay. So, uh, might be stretching some of you. Okay. But angels talk, read your Bible, okay? And, and they say things, and, and this angel showed up and gave our team, we'd have, we'd have Vegas meetings in preparation. Angel would show up in the meeting, we'd just discern him, and, and, and God would just move, and he'd give direction, and just break through, and just accurate stuff, and we saw it happen, like over and over. It was cool, okay? So just like the angel directed Paul in the book of Acts, and, and you know, it's, 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 it's so good, they... They give charge over us. Now listen, when, when partnering with angels and um, learning how to discern spirits, when you partner with an angel, it's just like a prophetic word. It will never go outside of the boundaries of God's written word. That's right. Okay? So there's safety. It's just like a prophetic word. If, if you feel like God is saying to go and Steal your neighbor's car. That's not God. That's right. Okay? If, if you have an experience and uh, you feel like something's telling you to do something that's not biblical, that's a demon. That's not Jesus. Right. Okay? So you discern it. But listen, that happens probably like 1%, 2% of the time. But you discern it and you kick it out. But no fear. You have Holy Spirit inside of you. You have the Word as your foundation. I tell you, God's raising up a supernatural company, supernatural sons and daughters of God who will do what we see in the book of Acts. Do what Jesus did. The Bible says angels ascended and descended on Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when Nathaniel, you know, he, he, he told, uh, told Nathaniel, you're going to see angels ascend and descend on the Son of Man. So there's Nathaniel in the New Testament, and, he, and he's seeing all these angels ascend and descend on Jesus. Because listen, the angelic ministry was regular in a lifestyle for Jesus. When he was in the wilderness, angels came to minister to him, to attend to him. There, there, there's a few accounts of, that are written about, but it says they ascended and descended on him all the time. Okay? So when Jesus died, he multiplied. I've been crucified with Christ I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. Angels ascending and descending on my life, operating in my life, in Eva's life, in Heather's life, in Amber's life. So it's like, God, if angels are assigned to me, like it says in Psalms 91, open my eyes to see them, and it'll change everything. 
Elisha's servant's eyes were opened to all the angels around him. Changed everything. The dude was scared. He said, Elisha, there's an army. They're coming up. Elisha's like, you don't see, do you? Prayed for him. His eyes get open. Boom. Sees angels all around. There's more with us than there are with them. What? What? Come on. Wave at me if you want to see. Wave at me if you want your eyes open. Come on. It's awesome. It's cool. So I'm, I'm, I'm headed to Nakuru in a bus. Kenya does not have, like, accessible vans like we have here. This is like right. an, 80s, an 80s Toyota <laughs> accessible minivan. It was, it, was, it was rough, man, but God, God got it done. It was awesome. I love, my, I love you Kenyan people. I can't wait to see you. I think I'll see you in, next year. Bam. And he'll be walking. Come on. Mm -hmm. I believe I'll be walking. I'm so owning that in Jesus' name. Yeah. It's normal Christianity. But listen, I'm on my way to Nakuru. This angel shows up in the van, and the angel tells me, you remember when you were brought to the building a month ago, and you saw all the people with shackles that there's going to be a release? This is the building you're going to. And the angel began to speak to me about the finished work and the word that I was to bring. The night before, an angel visits me, an angel of unity, said, I'm on assignment to unite pastors. There's been division. There's been competition. I'm going to bring transformation in this meeting. That night, I have a dream. I see the angel of unity in the meeting, bringing unity to the pastor. My faith is like, Bill, I'm stirred up. Ooh, ooh. God, you're going to move at this meeting. We get to the meeting in Kenya. The van breaks down. The lift won't even work. I'm stuck in the van outside of the hotel. Everybody say, Satan, Satan. Confirmed, confirmed that it's going to be good. Come on. Come on. I'll tell you, even just the attack today. I knew it was going to be good. I said, devil, you're going to come at me with that and that and that. Oh, I can't wait for what God's going to do at Freedom and Joy tonight. You're going down, sucker. <laughs> come on. Come on. So I'm stuck outside of this building. Stuck in this van. We have to get these big Kenyan black dudes. This guy's got muscles, man. They carry my chair out of the van. Ain't nothing going to hold me back. I would have walked if I could. I was trying to walk now. Like, give me healed right now. Yeah. You guys know I contend for that? Amen. I'm not satisfied. I'm not okay with the wheelchair. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay? I own healing. Mm -hmm. I've had people stand me up out of this thing. I own it. Own it. Until it manifests in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Whatever your struggle is, own it. So I end up going in, in, into this meeting, 100 you know, pastors, prophets, teachers. I tell you, I spoke for like four hours. six, four, four, four hours straight. Four hours straight. <laughs> Liz was there. It was like nonstop. <laughs> heaven invaded. I tell you, the oppression was so strong in the beginning. We saw heaven invade. The angel shows up. By the end of the meeting, Everyone's on their knees, crying in repentance. Holy Ghost breaks in there. The angel shows up. Unity gets, get, gets rocked. People getting drunk with laughter. Holy Ghost moves. I'll tell you, there's a prophet friend, Helen. Helen, if you're watching. God called her out and just released such a launching word because of resistance that she'd experienced from ministries. It was powerful. She, since that word, she tells me, she even just recently told me, since that word, she right now she's in California blowing it up. Yeah, amen. It's about to have a big conference, mm -hmm. Canopy of Glory Ministries, come on. Mm -hmm. 
It's powerful. But listen, if I didn't discern spirits, if I didn't discern what the Holy Spirit wanted to do, if I didn't discern what the angels wanted to do, if I didn't discern what the enemy wanted to do, I would have been like lost. Van broke down. Oh, looks like we'll have to cancel the meeting. Heck no, heck no. <laughs> if, I, if I wasn't activated to see, you know, the angels moving, and I would have never known that that angel of unity was going to show up and, 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 that, and that God wanted to, to release the word of the finished work and break shackles of religion. It's so important to discern spirits. Discern spirits. I'm going to release a prayer of impartation to everyone watching online, and then um, we're going to adios from you. We love you. We're just going to shift gears, okay? But I just want to pray for everyone here right now that's watching. I just want to release an impartation. Father, I pray, God, everybody that's watching right now, uh, just uh, that desires to discern spirits like Elisha did, like Paul did, Desi desires a biblical discernment of the spirits, Holy Spirit, angelic spirits, demonic spirits. Father, right now, I just release a prophetic switch turning on of lives. I just declare the lights on. I declare the switch of discernment turned on right now, I release an impartation to everyone watch, I release the mantle of the seer realm, the mantle of discernment, awaken the senses to taste, see, feel, hear, smell, awaken the senses to discern spirits in Jesus' name. I just release that to every single one watching. I bless you. I encourage, I want to just release you. The last thing is give you an exercise. Everybody says, this is an exercise. So you don't have to repeat it, but this is an exercise. <laughs> okay, this is how I learned to see. Okay, it's called be still and know. All right? I like being biblical. Come on. You guys said be still and know. So you know what I do? I just I quiet my soul and I just wait. Say, God, show me the spiritual atmosphere. And I just sit there and I just be still. And I just wait. And, and you can open your eyes or close your eyes. And you just wait. And you say, God, show me the spiritual atmosphere. And I started to see. I saw an angel here. I saw demons here. Don't be scared of demons. You crush their head. Amen. You have authority over them. Okay, Amen. don't be scared. Right. But I, I'm telling you, as God opens your eyes, you're going to see demons. But it's because he wants you to kick them out. That's right. Come on. So be still and know. All you guys watching live, I bless you. Come and join us on a Thursday night at 7 o'clock. Holy Ghost is moving. Stay up. Be blessed. Boom.